Do you think that Tate, who has taken the internet by storm over the last six, 12 months, do you think he's a net negative or a net positive for society and specifically young men? What do you think, Alex? I would say net positive overall. Net positive. Yeah. Why? Um, there's some things he says that are a little cringe that I disagree with, but overall about like making men more masculine, taking accountability, working out, getting your finances in order, those are all good messages. Fully agree. How about you, Pearl? You've interviewed him. You sat with him. You're the last one of us to actually see him in the flesh. Net negative or net positive for society? Um, I would say net positive. I think most of his message is about self-improvement. I agree. So, yeah, I would say net yeah. positive. Like, but it's easy to call him a chauvinist and a, a misogynist, but that's, that's a negative thing these days is mm -hmm. telling men to improve. How about you? Back to you. Do you think he's a net? What do you think? Net negative or net I positive? I say net. Do we need another guy here saying go to the gym, get your finances in order, like be a man? I, I don't know how much like uniqueness he's offering there that's valid. You um, have to admit that he's very unique, bro. Is he really? I mean, like he is in like the hyper consumerist, like look at all my fucking cars sense. But, I think like, that's. I, don't know. I think that's. I think that's bullshit. I think if he was just, you, you I, what are some, I think if he was Ubering everywhere, the message would be just as powerful. people probably in six months than most people yes. have in their entire career. Yeah, he, you're doing he's reached people I, I, that yeah. were never involved in what, self You said he's unique. Give me some unique messages from Tate. Well, no. It doesn't have to be a unique message. It's about the impact. Yeah. And you can't, you can't, I, I you can't interview deny people the on the street totally all the time, like young kids, and they're like the biggest Tate fans. Like I have never seen anyone with that much of a reach. Like yeah, but I mean, I don't know. If my fucking 11-year-old son was a huge Tate fan, that would very fucking scare me. <laughs> All right, well, then really let me flip it on me. you. Yeah. Who do you want your 11-year-old son to admire and you can't say a video gamer? I can't say a video game? Can't say it. Um, who do you want your 11-year-old? This goes back to the young destiny of who he was going to look up to. If it's not someone like Tate, who do you want your 11-year-old son looking up to these days? <sighs> Damn. I, it's, I would say that probably it would be relevant to whatever career he wanted to go into. He has so 11 he years old. To... He gives a shit about career. Well, yeah, so right <laughs> now he looks up to like fucking Being... movie characters. He likes Spider-Man okay. and shit like that. So okay. I think like Marvel superheroes are probably okay for kids. Right. That's to fair. So a lot, of, a lot of young kids would say that he's the closest <laughs> thing to that in real life. Mm -hmm. Kickboxer, super... badass, smart, good with women, driving Bugattis, living in mansions, smoking cigars, will fuck you up and fuck your girl. Kind of a badass. Yeah, but like five out of nine of those things. Like, I don't want my kid fantasizing about Bugatti's mansions, fucking people up, fucking girls. Or yeah, uh, Bugatti, like Bugatti is just a means to an end. It means you've made money and so you have a Bugatti. Listen, I have enough money to buy a nice supercar. I'd rather just keep my money in the bank because I'd like Ubering everywhere. It's, it's just a... Uh, it's just a sign of wealth. It's not like... I don't believe like, To that. me, it's a little no. excessive to have... I've got 19 supercars. It's like... You only really need one. You can't. I, when you okay. make that the focal point so often, I don't I think agree. you can retreat behind the like, oh, no, well, I'm just saying this will happen as a result of your wealth. I this agree. is like the goal for a lot of I people. I agree, but I, I think a lot of it is that's his character trait. Right? It wouldn't be surprised okay, me. Well, it gives if young men something to strive for. Yeah, I don't think it's, what is it, why is it wrong? Okay, I grew up in the most they, like the comments will always say like these are the cheapest rich people I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Like they all y'all rich but you look broke. <laughs> and uh, the com no, the comment section, my family. <laughs> uh, like so so I'm I'm us? I grew up Shit. around I grew up around <laughs> frugal rich people. Like yes. I understand the concept, but it's just like why is it bad for men to want to strive to have 20 supercars? Because like, I because putting you in a mindset where you think that material things are going to improve your life like spiritually or improve your life in like a holistic like psychological sense it's just it's a path that I've watched so many people go down before you spent the first half of this program it's not to it. say that's the only thing but can no, you it is, can't you yeah. acknowledge that there is some benefit in striving to make a lot of money no never yes. no, I don't no, think no, no, if no, you're no, selling really? to a young man ever it would never be like if you do this you can have a supercar that would never be part of your talking points I act like you're talking to like someone this that is like that nitpicking huh? like this is nitpicking yes. Yes. I mean, this is like like half of the fucking videos that circulate with him oh, on the no, internet is like, too much, look at too my much stuff that he, that he talks about. For some about. reason, I, I'm like obsessed with this straw man argument thing because you've used it a few times. Straw, this is literally Hear what he talks out, about. Bro. I'm hearing you. Go. You only can talk at one time. Okay. You're talking to somebody that doesn't have a car okay. because he doesn't want to fucking drive and I like being Ubered around. But I could buy a Maserati for 100 sure. grand, no problem. But I prefer not to. Okay. So for, for me to defend Tate, just understand the fact that I'm not a car guy. It, the, the, the message is not about the Bugatti. The Bugatti is the reward after doing everything he talks about in his message. Becoming better, faster, stronger, cooler, wealthier, sexier, healthier, all that. Then you can get the Bugatti. But don't get lost in the sauce. That is the message. And once you make the money and get the fame and get the success, if you want to go buy a fucking what color is your Bugatti, go for it. 
or by 19. But to say, oh, Tate, he's got a bad message because of the Bugatti, that's, that's the carrot at the end like to, to like motivate you. But that's not the reason that you're in the gym every day. That's not the reason that you're working your ass off. That's not the, e the reason that you're trying to improve. It's just, it's like, that's why I was saying it's like a straw man argument that it's all about material. It's not. That's like the, 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 the payoff at the end. But like the, 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 the essence of what he's doing is male self improvement. And I, th I think you would agree with that, no? That's the biggest cope I've ever heard in my life. Cope? Yeah. Cope. That what was does that so mean? much cope. Cope of what? What? Where are the videos showing that, like, if you live like a fulfilling life, this is what awaits you at the end. Maybe it's a happy marriage. Maybe it's like good friendships. Like maybe it's like a, a, a family that you love and care for. Maybe it's like participation in your community. Yeah, but maybe, if you're talking to an 18 year old kid, what are you, they what's your family? What are you talking yeah. about? They want to fucking fine. get laid that's and get okay. paid. Sure, that's, that's fine. It. You sound like a girl. Laid, if get laid <laughs> he and get sounds paid. like a girl. That's like what girls say. <laughs> if, are you calling Destiny no, a girl? These are the <laughs> Christian conservative values that you guys hide behind when you want clicks, but none of you actually give a fuck about, okay? This is what it's actually, this is what they actually talk about. If you've ever been in a church your entire life, when I say you guys, I mean, red pill in general. We're all doing you, this Christian stuff. I'm not right? a red pill guy. I interview a lot of red pill. You're talking about fulfillment, self improvement, all these things, okay? I've if never your even eyes, talked about religion. If you're trying to sell somebody a car at 18, and that's where the focal point is, 19, 20, 21, do you think that magically at 25, they're going to be like, oh, shit, I've had my eyes on the car the whole time, but like, man, I've got like a lot more fulfillment in my life now. Like, yeah, that's not dude. Happen. I, I used to want to fuck a million girls, now I have a girlfriend. Like, yeah, of course. Your, your, your attitudes change as you get older. He's preaching traditional masculinity, which is attractive to a lot of men. It's like the James Bond type of fantasy. It's like, yeah, good with girls, good at fighting, have a nice car. But yeah, you get at some point where you experience that and it gets old, and maybe you do settle down, or maybe you don't. I, I've just, but what I've you're saying is family. not going to sound sexy to anyone. There are so many people that fall down the consumerist hole. I've seen it happen time and time. Yeah, that, that would be like family. my one criticism of but Andrew Tate too. Well, but that is like his major fucking selling point. I don't think point. so. And that's what Adam is defending. Yeah, it's like, look at the cars. Like, the car is the prize. No, but eventually, I, I but think, you'll, you'll get the car as a result of all That's other why things. I said that I'm not a car guy, so I can't be defending yeah, getting a car. Yeah, because you're trying to put yourself because, on trial to defend his person. But I'm not attacking no, I'm, you. I'm, I'm just, but what I'm saying is, it's easy. This is what I was saying with the straw man. It's easy to take his message and be like, he's just all about materialism and Bugattis. When that's not the message. It's work harder get better and once you do all that and increase your status then you can get the car you're focusing on all he talks about have is you, getting a car have you ever watched like his full war room streams uh war room streams no but i've seen like some of his so, long form content okay. where he's so, but you've never watched like a full war, a war room, room stream. stream no okay i was just wondering <laughs> pearl are so adorable mm -hmm. just ask questions no no point there just want to know <laughs>